Hi guys, in this video I wanted to show you how to make GIMP more like Photoshop. GIMP is an excellent free open source program, but it needs a few tweaks in order to make it more like Photoshop. Now after you've downloaded and installed GIMP for the first time, it will look something like this. Very unintuitive to Photoshop users. The very first thing you want to do is enable single window mode by going to Windows and checking it. Now that looks much better, but let's close GIMP again for now. Next thing we want to do is change the appearance and keyboard shortcuts of GIMP. The link in the description will lead you to this website. All the credit goes to Dr. Moo. He has created the GIMP Photoshop Tweaks file. Simply download the file and extract it. Navigate to your users folder and there you will find the GIMP configuration folder. It's named something like GIMP 2.0. Um, you may have to reveal hidden folders in order to see it. On Linux, you simply need to go to your home folder and press Ctrl H to reveal hidden things and you will see it. Now, it's best to make a backup of this folder, so rename it to something else and simply copy the new configuration folder in here. Now that that's all done, next time we should open GIMP. We have all, all our keyboard shortcuts. Um, so let's change the appearance of GIMP. We want to have our layers at the bottom right the channels and the paths tab. The paths are missing. Get rid of all these unnecessary tabs. Find the paths tab and drag it to the bottom. Now that that's all done, our interface looks nice and clean. At the top we have tool options, brushes and history. Now there are a few more tweaks we can do. As you can see when you open a new file it, ha it will have this layer boundary um, and it looks a bit awkward. In order to get rid of that, go to Preferences um, and under Image Windows, go to Appearance. And here we want to uncheck Show Layer Boundary both times and simply press OK. And the next time you open a new file, it will no longer have these annoying layer boundary lines. OK, good. Now, one tweak we can still do is to change the move tool. Um, it's defaultly checked to pick a layer, but we want to change it to move the selected layer. So check that and go to tool options in, in order to save the selection. Great, now let's close GIMP again. There's one last thing we can do. Go to the second link in the description and it will lead you to this plugin. It's called the Layer Via Copy plugin and it works much like Photoshop. You simply make a selection of anything in your um, on your layer and you can make a new layer of it by pressing Ctrl J. So download the file and extract the contents and we want to copy all these files into our configuration folder into plugins. So copy them all in here and next time you should open GIMP it should be up and running. So simply draw anything, make a selection of it and you can go to layer and choose layer via copy and it will automatically create a new layer. Or you can press Ctrl J to have the same effect. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. As you can see, it was not a very difficult process, was it? Um, GIMP is an excellent free open source program. Enjoy it.